Hi guys, let's do some leidende and bedrijvende. And I know this is some people's bane of the existence. But I promise you, in 11 steps, you, you can do this. Okay, so they want us to write this in the leidende forum. The leidende forum is the passive tense. When you think of lay, you think of like lazing around and it's just you passive. Bedrijvende forum, he is bedrijvend, you active. So we speak in the active tense and the late in the forum is the way we don't really speak, right? But we have to know how to change from active to passive. Okay, so I have a few steps that you can follow. We're going to do it for the first one and then we're just going to go, go, go. Okay, so I have like two preliminary steps that we can, that we can do, right? So the first background step that you do is to check what the tense of the sentence is. The school with onderteken die brief that is present tense so we remember that present tense because that's important for whether we're going to write word us of so okay just remember that then the second background step is to determine what your stompy is because remember with late in the forum your stompy is not stompy anymore it's something completely different so let's do it die school hof onderteken die brief die school hof that's our subject Ondertiken, that's our verb. Die brief is our object. Okay, so that's that's the third, that's the second step. The third step is we are going to start with the object. What is our object? We've already determined that. So now you can just go, go, go. Because the, the hardest part is out the way. You've determined your stompy. So we start with the object. So the brief. Then we have to add woord is of sal. And that depends on what the tense of your sentence was. And the tense of your sentence here was a present tense, remember? So the present tense, we use woord. So the brief, okay, cool, that's done. Step five is to check whether you have time. I'm just going to write stompy here so I can make a tick for you guys. So for now, after we had woord, we're going to check whether we have time. Do we have time in the sentence? No. So we just don't write it. Then we check if we have manner. In the sentence. Did we have manner? No, we don't have manner. So we just skip that step. Now we have our dear and our subject. It's always dear subject. Always. It's I know teachers sometimes teach it as vor dear, us dear, sal dear, but that's incorrect. Why? Because then you skip these two steps. You skip adding the time and you skip adding the manner. That's why we don't teach like that. We teach word us of sal, time and manner, then it's always Dear the subject. So it's going to be dear the subject. Our subject here is the school with. Dear the subject. Dear the school with. Then after we have dear the subject, we have the place. Do we have place in the sentence? No, we don't have place in the sentence. So we just skip that step. After we've checked for place, we're now going to add our verb. Let's check our verb. Our verb is undertaken. And we have to put G plus verb. But remember, there are some verbs that you can't start with the G. Right. So like I said, there's some verbs you can't start with the G. Right. And those verbs are words that start with G, B, F, R, und, R, mis, and N. Okay. So in this one, our verb is ondertaken. So ondertaken doesn't start with an und. So we can still say Geondertaken. Okay. So then, when you have that, you now add woord. If it's a future tense, this one was present, so we don't add woord again. And your last step would be to add the infinitive. But we don't have infinitive here, so we put the full stop. Okay. So I know it might be a bit, who oh, I don't know what she's doing. But I promise you, if you follow those steps, it will be so easy. Let's try the next one. Jelle mag nie die mense beledig nie. What is the tense of the sentence? It's present tense. What is our stompy? Subject. Verb. Beledig. We don't have time. Object. Die mense. And then we have our nies. It's, it's in the negative. Okay. So now we have stompy. Right. We start with the object. Die mense. Woord is of sal. It's present tense, so it's woord. Die mense woord. We add time. We don't have time. Do we have manner? We don't have manner. Then we add dear the subject. So die mense woord, dear the subject, 
Dier hulle, remember this must change. Die mense word, sorry, I forgot to add a nie, remember this is negative. So die mense word nie, dier hulle, do we have place? We don't have place, so we skip that step. Then we add our verb, our verb is beledig. Beledig, remember, our verb here starts with be, so we don't put gebeledig, it's just beledig. So die mense word nie, dier hulle, beledig nie. Full stop. Okay, next one. A mens bewoord glase versichtig te hanteer. What is the tense? It's still present tense. What is the subject? A mens. What is the object? Glas. Do we have time? We don't have time. Do we have manner? We have manner. Versichtig te hanteer. What's our verb? Bewoord. And let's go from there. Okay. Glase bewoord. Sorry, not bewoord. I'm thinking of verbs here. Glase our verb in terms of leidende would be woord because it's present tense. So glase, woord. Do we have time? No. Do we have manner? Yes. So glase, woord, versteer die subject because that's the next step. Glase, woord, versichtig, dier, a mens. Do we have place? We don't. We need to have then our, sorry, our verb. Glase, woord, versichtig, dier. I forgot to tell you that one. Glase, woord, versichtig, dier, a mens. Hanteer. Okay. Then the next one. Leus het a zebra na by die kamp gevang. Okay. What is the tense? Het a zebra. That is past tense. What is our stompie? Leus. Subject. Het a zebra na by die kamp gevang. Na by die kamp. Plek. Okay. So we're going to start with the object. A zebra. Word is of sal, it's past tense, so we use the word is. A zebra is. Do we have time? We don't have time. Do we have manner? We don't have manner. So now we have dear the subject. A zebra is dear lius. We add our verb gevang. Sorry, sorry. I didn't see a, We still have place there, guys. Dear the subject, then it's always place. Na by the camp. And then we have our verb. Gefang. It already starts with the ge, so we're not going to add another ge. A zebra is dear lius na by die kamp gevang. We don't have to put het again because this actually indicates that. Okay? Ons doen nie alles self nie. Okay. Ons doen verb alles object. Alles self object. Sorry, alles is the object. So, present tense. We figured stompy. And now we start with the object. I'm just going to write it, yeah. Alles, present, word is of sal, alles word. Do we have time? We don't have time. Do we have manner? We do have manner. Self. So, alles word, nie self. Okay? Remember, it's on kenning, so you mustn't forget your knees after your verb. Remember, this is a verb one. So, we have to put a knee there. Alles word, nie self, because that's manner. After manner, we have dear the subject. So, alles word nie self. Dear the subject, dear ons. Do we have place? No, we don't have place. Then we put our verb. Our verb is doen. Alles word nie self, dear ons. Gedoen. And we put nie at the end because it's onkenning. Okay. So, now you know that if it's an onkenning sentence, sorry, you have to put Ni after your first verb, which is word is of sal. And in this case, it was word. Okay, do we have that? Let's do the second last one. My ma kan die kind by die school gaan haal. My ma kan die kind by die school gaan haal. That is present tense. My ma is the subject. Kan is the auxiliary verb. So verb one. Die kind is the object by die school. Is the place gaan haal. That is our verb too. So, we start with the object. Die kind. Word is of sal. So, die kind. It's present tense. Word. Do we have time? We don't have time. Do we have manner? We don't have manner. So now we start with dear die kind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Dear die subject. Die kind word dear die subject. So it's dear die ma. Die kind word dear die ma. Then we have place. What's our place? By the school. Die kind word dier die ma. By die school. And then we have our geverb. What is our verb here? Gaan haal. So die kind word dier die ma. By die school. 
Khal. All right. So this verb here, it was just an indication that it was a present tense. So we can know to use word. Just like here, lose hit was an indication that it was past tense. So we know to use the word us. All right.